Dear Diary, After playing another 45 minutes, I can really start to get a feel for what type of game this is going to be. Lots of mysterious backstories, twisted plot lines, and just text after text about enemies, weapons, and lore that is the equivalent of reading a short novel. But am I fucking going to Hogwarts school witchcraft and wizardry? No, I'm playing a Sega game. How do I know? Because only at Sega do you constantly collect gold rings. It's like they had concept art just laying around that they could not let go to waste. But don't worry, if you're a fan of Nintendo, there's a little something for you too. They couldn't just buy the rights to a game and leave it nintendo list. They had to jazz it up somehow. So they handed this part over to their deviant art department and made these alternate costumes. Now we have slutty Princess Peach, other princess who has low self-esteem and is willing to do butt stuff, space robot, and Link. Wow, money well spent, Nintendo. Diving back into the plot, I think the main idea is that Bayonetta is a witch that has a slight amnesia problem and is now roaming the European countryside looking for these stones known as the Eyes of the World. But I'm here to tell her she may think expensive material items leads to happiness and fulfillment, but it really won't. You gotta get some hobbies. And I know you may have some flashbacks about living under a lake, but you can't get hung up on being a freshwater mermaid forever. Sometimes you just have to move on. But Diary, Bayonetta is a headstrong lady and she's gonna do what she wants. And that's why I found my chump self sitting on a train, staring into the middle distance, thinking about all the things I couldn't remember. I was on my way to the super religious city of Vidgrid because I had heard the right eye was there. And just in case I personally suffer from amnesia, the game designers were so kind as to randomly throw up the game's title. You know, just in case I forgot what game I was playing an hour in. When I arrived at the shitty train station, I had some questions. 1. Why was Bayonetta standing like this? This is her resting pose. She looks crazy. No one stands like that. I don't care if she is a witch and possesses demonic hair powers. That looks uncomfortable as fuck. 2. Why are these people shadowed out? Is the studio trying to save money? Have these players not been unlocked yet? But after posing the question, the game did just straight up tell me, oh, you're in Purgatorio and that's why all the shitty clear people are just walking around. Diary, if you don't know what Purgatory is, I'm probably not the best person to ask. It's basically an after death pit stop where mediocre souls get good for heaven. How Bayonetta got there? I don't know. She's just hanging out with all the unbaptized babies. But it did allow me to pretend to be a scary ghost and give all the pedestrians heart attacks while destroying public seating. Fuck yo bitches. I'm collecting stuff for witchy things. After that, it was pretty much just walk around and beat up walls, run on water, run underwater, hold a really big key, grow butterfly wings, and kill more angels. Diary, you may think killing angels is a bad thing, but these angels are just horrifying. They bring my soul zero amounts of comfort. I mean, you've got your basic birds, your big ass birds, your angel faces with wings on the sides of their heads, and if that's not bad enough, big giant baby face crawls out of the ground, lumbers over, and tries to crush me with his chubby fingers. So I did the only natural thing. I got completely naked and bewitched my hair to turn into a demon dragon that ripped big old baby face right in half. I then blew a kiss and collected my golden LP of religious music as a reward. Cool beans, job done. At least, I thought job done. But so far this game has been a series of flashbacks and boss fights. So now let's have a combination of both. Let's hallucinate that it's the old times again while we fight what can only be described as God's potluck stew. Everyone threw in some ingredients on this one. What the hell is this thing? It's got two dragon heads, wings, a tail, golden knee pads, and a man's upside down face that's nowhere near the right spot. And then it has the audacity to straight up fly away in the middle of the fight. Excuse me, we're not done here yet. But that fuck was already gone. Probably off to eat some poor village in the name of Jesus Christ or something. I don't really know how angels work, but I do know they are relentless and constantly looking for a fight, and they aren't that smart. Do you really think this is the best way to attack me, Papa Babyface? You are literally doing nothing to me right now. I can't say the same for the ancient architecture your dumbass is destroying, though. This is probably a UNESCO World Heritage Site for Pete's sake. Luckily, my hair had an appetite for clumsy bitches, so I was able to put a stop to the needless destruction. Man, angels are assholes with little to no regard for historic preservation. Until next time, your friend, Brittany Saturn. <laughs>